Here's a quick demo showing how I've been using OpenAI's Codex to maintain and update my personal website directly from my phone with zero manual coding required. So let's jump over to Codex, start a new task, copy and paste my prompt, and hit run. Notice here that I didn't give it any technical context, just told it which page, where on the page, and what I wanted it to say. And Codex gets to work. It will scan the repo, figure out where the content lives, and start building the change. Normally something like this would mean pulling out my laptop, opening a terminal, creating a branch, writing the change, testing, merging, yada yada, all the usual steps I do in my day job as a data engineer. But for this personal site, which I launched just a few weeks ago, this setup automates the entire workflow and saves me so much time. Especially if I spot a small issue like a spelling error or a quick content tweak, I just ask my AI assistant Codex to fix it. And one thing I really like about Codex is that it does everything in the background. Um, so I don't have to sit there watching it work. You can leave it running and it will send you a notification when it finishes. So with that, I'm going to pause the video, grab some dried mangoes, and check back in a few minutes. Alright, it looks like it finished and it took about two minutes. Let's review what it did. Codex gives us a summary, it inserted the italicized disclaimer, tested the site build, and we can look at the actual diff code as well. And you can see it added the exact sentence in the right spot, so this looks good. Um, now what we can do is we can push this change. We'll create a PR. and view the PR and let it build the checks. And you can see here that the checks all passed, the CI CD checks giving me confidence that this AI generated code won't make my live site. So I'm going to go ahead and merge that pull request. And that'll take about 15 seconds to deploy, so let's pause the video. All right, let's go back to my website now and see if the change deployed. So we can go to the About tab where I expect it to go. Make sure to hit refresh, scroll down, and boom, there it is. Right where we asked for it, um, our disclaimer. So, um, you know, overall, um, I've been pretty impressed with Codex, especially for something like uh, these kind of quick edits, spelling fixes, content updates, it handles them like a champ. I've even tested it with some larger refactors and it holds up well. Uh, for production work, I still prefer manual review and local testing. Uh, not sure I'm ready to do a full end-to-end -end automation of, you know, uh, changes where it's higher risk. Um, but this tech is getting pretty good, and it might get to the point where I will start testing on the job. So stay tuned for those updates.